Good morning, afternoon, evening or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching. Thanks for clicking. Today, I'm going to be talking about a fragrance that some people consider to be the greatest of all time or the most versatile or the most timeless fragrance. And that is Green Irish Tweed by the House Creed. Always sounds funny to me to say that. Tweed by Creed. So guys, firstly to talk about the price and presentation. These birds are being quite loud. It makes me realise I probably should invest in a proper mic. Sorry if it's quite noisy in the background. Anyway, price and presentation. Price is too much money. Presentation, no, I'm joking. Price, it is overpriced in my opinion. Bottom line, I think it is. Um, I think off the top of my head for like 50 mils of this is 175. And then for the 100 mil bottle is 245. There are, there's definitely places you can get it cheaper, but, and this kind of does fall in line with the price and presentation, I think when you're spending this sort of, like, if you look on Facebook groups and different fragrance forums and whatnot, one of the houses that gets duped, not duped, that's the wrong words, I mean like faked, fake versions, not clones, not duplicate, but fake versions, is Creed. And a lot of that I think is due to its notoriety, its price, things like that. People want it, people want it at a good price. So part of me does feel like it is overpriced and I wouldn't want to pay £245. But then the other part of me is thinking, in a way, I would rather, if I'm going to be spending a lot of money on a fragrance, I'd rather buy it directly from the retailer or directly from a reputable company that I know, A, it's going to be the genuine thing and B, there's a little bit, you know, it is nice when you're buying a high priced item, there's a little bit extra. It's nice to be in the shop. It's nice to get all the sort of the bag, things like that. Maybe they'll chuck in a few samples. So it's how you look at it. I do think bottom line, it is overpriced. I think 245 pound for a hundred mil, especially we'll go into the presentation next, but I think it is a bit too high, but you can find it for cheaper if you want to take that risk. So the presentation is kind of a love, hate slash meh, okay relationship. Firstly, the box is the meh part for me. I like the boxes, but I think that's just because it's what I know Creed is. I associate these white boxes with Creed, this sort of design, this, I don't know if it comes across, but textured box, but it is just flimsy cardboard. It's not even, if you have a box and you're using it for an amount of weeks or months, the likelihood is that it'll start to sort of show wear and tear, maybe on the corners it'll start to rip. So it's not the best in that sense. It comes with two little cards that I'll be honest, I've never read. It's probably other videos explaining what that is. And then inside is the bottle. Now, the bottle is where I have a love-hate relationship. This is the 100 mil, the current 100 mil version of Green Irish Tweed. This is a matte black. I don't know if you can hear that beautiful sound but it's this beautiful matte black finish. I think they do one other all over color and that's Millicene Imperial, but to me, it's a little bit more kitschy because it's kind of a shiny thing. I'm not mad keen on it, but this is beautiful. It's the caps, guys. I hate these caps. They're plastic, they're cheap. That looks cool at the top of it. If you've just got it on a stand or if you've got it on a table, it looks good, it looks good like that. But this is just, cheap plastic and again this is where that 245 pound comes into it as a bit steep in my opinion there's other fragrances for that price bracket where you're going to get a much more heavy duty a much more pretty cap it's not a huge thing it doesn't affect the fragrance in any way i just think why go for this beautiful bottle and then cheapen it with a crappy plastic cap but hey it's creed as to my knowledge they've always been plastic caps so moving on to the main thing that bird will not shut up. Maybe he's a fan. Um, the main thing, which is the scent, performance, how the fragrance makes me feel, what I think of it in general. Um, I wore this jumper actually purposely because this color kind of resembles how I feel about the fragrance. You know, certain fragrances you think have a blue smell. They smell blue, they smell aquatic, they smell fresh, whatnot. Some fragrances smell green and they smell grassy and again, fresh. This fragrance to me fits right bang in the middle. It's kind of a teal, turquoisey thing in my head. It's not fully green, it's not fully blue. It's somewhere in the middle for me. It's got a green aspect, it's got an aquatic aspect. It's fresh and also watery to my nose. The notes in this one, guys, 
also should have mentioned that on presentation. The sprays are great. The sprays are great. The notes in this, off the top of my head, peppermint, verbena, lemon, bergamot, and galbanum. I don't know too much about galbanum. I'm not going to pretend that I do. Peppermint and lemon. The lemon is there, the peppermint is there, but they kind of counteract each other. It doesn't make it, a, the, the lemon doesn't let the peppermint be too spicy and the peppermint doesn't let the lemon be too citrus, if you get what I mean. It's really nice, it's really appealing, it's really spring fresh. This is the perfect sort of environment for a fragrance like this, although those birds will not shut up, but it's the perfect environment in that it's nature and it's fresh and it's invigorating. As I said at the start of the video, some people find this to be the greatest of all time. Maybe not for myself, but I would agree that it is timeless. And that's for two main reasons. Firstly, is because I think it can, it's very versatile. It can be worn most year round, uh, maybe not the dead of winter. And also perhaps I wouldn't wear it for like a nighttime scenario, like going out. I probably reach for something a bit sweeter, a bit thicker, heavier. This, most of the year that I would wear it, I could imagine wearing it going for a walk like this. I love walking in the in the countryside, it's not really country, walking through the woods wearing this. Um, but then also I could imagine wearing it at a wedding in a suit. You know what I mean? It's very versatile. Second reason I think it's timeless is because any age range could wear this, in my opinion. This guest compared a lot to Cool Water by Davidoff. And when I was in secondary school, high school, whatever you want to call it, that was my go-to fragrance. Um, I haven't smelled that in years and years, so I couldn't compare the two, but it's got a slightly classic masculine edge to it, but then also you've got that fresh blueness, which gives it a youthful vibe without being too childish. It's very good at just crossing that line, in my opinion. Classic and new. It's timeless, and I think it's been out since like the 1970s, but it doesn't smell old. The last big thing to talk about is going to be performance and how at least it performs on my skin, and it is one of the longest lasting creeds that I own. Um, I recently tried a, I think, 2020 bottle of Aventus, and I'll be honest, I couldn't smell it after a sort of hour and a half to two hours, but that's just me, that's my nose. Also, my girlfriend struggled to smell it after two hours. Just saying. This is a lot like Silver Mountain Water. It goes on and on and on. Like seven, eight hours, two or three sprays. Happy days. On the note of Silver Mountain Water, which FYI is probably my favorite from Creed. Anyway, on the note of Silver Mountain Water, this, as it progresses, gets slightly less in that green category and it delves a little bit more into the blue category. And... I hate to say it, it's a bit of a cliche, but the signature ambergris, apparently Creed, a lot of people, aficionados of Creed and fragrances in general, say you can pick up the Creed ambergris. I didn't really get what they meant until I smelled this, because the far dry down reminds me of the sort of slightly salty aquatic nature of silver mountain water in the far, far dry down, like I said, seven, eight hour mark. So it does remind me of that. And again, that's a big plus for me because I love Silver Mountain water. But ultimately, smell right in the middle of green and blue, this sort of color, <laughs> this sort of color. Um, slightly more green in the opening, delves slightly further into the blue in the dry down. And the performance, seven, eight hours, one of the longest lasting creeds for me. So guys, that's going to be it for my opinions on Green Irish Tweed. Overall thoughts are, I think it's a wonderful, versatile fragrance. I'll be honest, I do enjoy collecting perfumes and this was one that I wanted for a very long time to own a bottle of. Um, I do think it's overpriced, but for how long it lasts and it is a special timeless fragrance, I'd be willing to pay that little bit extra just to make sure I get the real thing. If you guys have tried this one, if you've tried Cool Water as well, let me know how you find them. That's going to be all for today, folks. Bye from me and the wildlife. Hope to catch you on the next video. Peace.